Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Today is hashtag Muley Monday. You know what that means. We're checking our mule deer population. Been about three sleep cycles since we even checked them. So hopefully they're past the one star adult or one star young stage. So if you like this kind of content, you like Way of the Hunter, the Hunter Call of the Wild, Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, be sure to sub and ring the bell. Share the video with a friend. Give me a thumbs up. It's all much appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Well, starting out, let's check these wolves because we did a long time ago have a four star in with our wolf population there. Um, looks like that one might have changed into a one star young. Looks three star mature, another one star young. They're all kind of bunched up, making it hard to see them all, but I'm thinking we're okay there. A one star young, that three star mature might turn into a five star. You never know. Yeah, it looks like no five stars there. Now, we do have our mule deer down here. You saw uh, during the intro, they were talking. A one-star adult to start out. Uh, let's see what else we have. All right, we got a two-star mature. The rest that I've seen so far are one-star adults or one-star youngs. Unfortunately, nothing great in this herd we used to have bunch of four star matures in this herd and kind of let them grow and see if they turned into five stars never did never did but we can still manage it try and get that genetic population to come back up now of course we don't just have those mule deer down here to check we have these white tail which we had three uh three star adults in one of them did turn into a five star mature and then that's when these other two three-star adults showed up, was when he turned into a five-star. Now, from what I've seen, we have one four-star mature, that guy right there. And then we have a three-star mature as well. And, well, maybe we have two four-star matures. Unless that guy was a three-star and I misplaced him. It is saying that's a one-star young. I'm. That's a really big rack for a one-star young. Maybe that's the son of the five star we took earlier. And that must be three star mature. Yeah, and that's our four star. He's a giant. And I think that's all of them. Well, well, well. Came to a lake I haven't been to in a while and we've got a two star dolt. That is definitely something we'll keep an eye on and a one-star dolt, and another one-star dolt. Pretty small herd here, but those are some ones to keep an eye on. While we're here, we'll check our whitetail out that are at this lake as well. And looks like a one-star young. A couple of them. And two-star mature, and a one-star young, a one-star dolt. That's looking half decent. Oh, we got some more over there too. Uh, another one star. That one's a young and that one's an adult. And looks like that's it for them. So let's take this two star mature out. Of course, we're using the 270 because it is the best gun in the game. And they are correct. They replaced, they fixed the Hunter Sense dot not working. Got him there. Let's throw another one in him just to get him down. I don't want to spend too much time tracking. Is we are on a mission to find that five-star muley or to help with our herd management. Well, after falling down the mountain to my death and coming back, we're finally here to grab this white tail. Oh, we got him with a good double lung shot to start. And the second shot is just enough just to finish him off. Both lungs all the way through. Kill shot. There's a 53.8% genetic potential. Pretty non-symmetrical rag, and his score was 295.1. Of course, not going for whitetail, but tend to shoot whitetail quite a lot on our mule deer grind. Now, if you remember the last video that we did for Muley Monday, it was actually mountain goat and moose that we focused on, just because I was letting my muleys grow a little bit since we had killed off most, and most of them were still young and adult. 
We saw four star mountain goat and I totally forgot about it. So before I went wrapped up the video, I'm tr trying to track down the herd. And I think this is actually a totally different herd. Seeing as how I actually have two four star matures here. And I am not sure at all what this herd is or where their drink zone is. So what I'm going to do is grab their where they're at, the zone that they're at. Hopefully they're at a zone at least. And then that'll give me the knowledge I need to know which water zone to keep an eye on or at least come back at this time in the next video that we do for Mule Deer Monday and check. Oh, we had three star mature as well. Jeez, what is this mountain goat population on this? Never seen this herd before, I guess. I, I don't know. Well, looking at it, we did spook them off. So I'm going to see if this is... I heard that I spooked earlier, or if this is actually a zone that they were at. So that I can keep an eye on them. This might have been the herd I spooked earlier. Which would mean... I have no idea where their zone was. I think this is their feed zone at least, so I could work off that, and that's their water zone. But they're rarely ever at that watering area. Really not sure, but... We've got a four star mature and a three star mature to keep an eye on at least. Now I don't think that's the herd that I originally had that four star mature in. Which makes this really hard because I would like to be sure he hasn't grown. Well, as you can tell, it's a little bit later in the day. It's actually uh, like almost 1800, I believe, in game. Yeah, we're quarter till. And that's making it drink, or not drink time, eat time for the mule deer. And that's brought them out, it seems like, from the trees. Now, I have that three-star mature, as you saw, and probably going to leave him. We have a one-star mature tucked back in those trees. And I'm really, I'm really tempted, though. I, wanna, I unlocked the third level of calls, and I kind of want to try and call a bigger mule deer into us but it's so risky especially with him he could be a five star and if I take him out and he could have been a five star I would I'd be very upset with myself well I think it's decided we're gonna go for the low fitness see if that one star mature is actually low fitness and it looks like well he responded right away so not going to be much question in there. We'll just pull out the 270. Go right there and drop him where he stands. That was easy enough. We'll watch that big three star pounce away. He is a good looking one. Definitely one I want to try and keep an eye on. He's not guaranteed, but he could get up there. He's got the double fork going pretty well on both sides. So I like his potential. That's why I decided to leave him. I was just looking at his antlers and and they just sometimes those three star matures, they'll be double forked on one side and then only one fork on the other side. And that's kind of my giveaway of whether or not it's worth taking them or not. But I've been wrong before by doing that. So don't trust me on that. That's just kind of how I judge it. And here is our one star mature with a perfect heart shot, honestly, right between both lungs, right into the heart. A little bit of artery damage, a little bit of lung damage from that cavity all the way through into the heart. Man, that was a phenomenal shot. Great shot. Man, holy cow. I'm impressed myself. 31.66%. That was a perfect one to take out. All right, I spotted these guys from a way off, and I think this will be on the last mule deer herd we check out today. I'm really checking out some herds we haven't checked out in a while. Some I haven't even found yet. Just kind of hoping for some luck to find something. Kind of like we did with that three-star mature. So hopefully we'll be able to get eyes on these guys. And maybe they'll have something with potential in there. Looked like quite a few older ones were in there. I couldn't tell rack size on any of them. Actually, there's one. A one-star adult on that guy. We'll check, see what the rest are. And maybe be able to take something out. One star young there. Ah, oh, there we go. 
two star mature. There's a guy we can take. I threw out a call to see if one would respond. That was kind of hidden, and well, this guy decided to take the bait. And it was just a low fitness call, so this guy's got to be below 50%. Being a two star mature, that's not all too common from what I've seen. For some reason, I zero is really high. I'm surprised we didn't mess up that last shot. And sink it right in. Sink it right in. Take that guy out. Almost out of ammo anyway, so we'll get this guy picked up in in the next video. Be fully stocked up on ammo. I sometimes forget to check the storage so that I fill back up. But here he is, two star mature with another almost per actually that was still a perfect heart shot right in between right in between and into the heart this perfect heart shot no lungs nothing beautiful shot hit the artery right on the way in which is pretty impressive there overall good looking two star mature i'm curious what his potential was 43.59 which is pretty interesting for a two-star mature. Not something I see all too often. That's a really neat rack, though. I like that. Real tall there on that right side, and then not nearly as tall here on his left. But the same pattern. Double fork in the back. No fork in the front. I like that guy. He's pretty neat looking for a two-star mature. Not one to keep, though. We're still on track. Gonna try and get that five-star here soon. Hopefully, one of these ones we saw is going to be able to grow into that. But we'll wrap it up here for Muley Monday. Fortunately, nothing great. Saw some good potential. We have some mountain goat to keep an eye on. Of course, we still have a moose we need to keep an eye on as well. Uh, he was a three-star mature last time I saw him. So hopefully in the next video, we got a lot of things to check out and track down and see if they've leveled up to a five-star yet or not. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like this kind of content, you like Way of the Hunter, the Hunter Call of the Wild, Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, and you like me, you found me entertaining, please in to watch. Do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Of course, share the video with a friend and give me a thumbs up. It's all helping this full send squad grow and get the channel out there to more people. So this squad continue to grow and we can keep this community growing strong. And get new awesome people added in and then last but not least go enjoy a good home with a good friend i'll catch you in the next one